There was such an obsession about anything in my world, including tracking down my parents, and I did everything I could to protect both of them in that media frenzy. But for over a year, the UK tabloids were trying to find my dad, offering people so much money to try to find his address. Once they did, I remember being told there was a huge headline, like, we found him or we've got him. You're talking about someone's father. And from that point, the tabloids, they moved into the apartment next door and across from him, descended on this small town, were just giving him gifts. The whole thing brings us to where we are today. Mm. I, did it feel like betrayal when you found out your father was working with the tabloids? Um, I'm just trying to decide if I'm comfortable even talking about that. It was, it, if, it, if, it, if we're gonna use the word betrayal, it's because when I asked him, when we were told by the comms team, this is a story that was gonna be coming out, which by the way, the tabloids had apparently known for a month or so and mm -hmm. decided to hold until the Sunday before our wedding because they wanted to mm -hmm. create drama, um, which is also a really key point in all this. They don't report the news, they create the news. Um, we called my dad and I asked him and he said, no, absolutely not. Mm. And I said, you know, the, the institution has never intervened for anything for us, but they can try to go in and kill this story. But if they do this once, we're not going to be able to use that same leverage to protect our own kids one day. He said, no, absolutely not. He hadn't been talking to them. Yeah. yeah. So he basically lied to you. Well, and so when I said we won't be able to protect our own kids one day, mm -hmm. and, and I said, so I just need you to tell me, and if you tell me the truth, we can help. And he wasn't able to do that. Mm -hmm. And that for me has, has really resonated, especially now as a mother, mm -hmm. you know. Not being able to, not being willing to protect you. And also me saying just full stop, if we use this to protect you, we won't be able to protect our own children one day. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm talking about your grandchildren. So I can't, I mean, I look at Archie, I think about this child and I go, I can't, um, I genuinely can't imagine doing anything to intentionally cause pain to my child. I can't, I can't imagine it. So it's hard for me to reconcile that. So your father, being hunted down, it seemed like you were saying in some ways that they did this to him. So I want you to be able to clarify this, that the, that the tabloids, the media did this to him, they hunted him, mm -hmm. but he has a responsibility in it too. Everyone has accountability. Look, mm -hmm. they've hunted my mom down. Right. And, and you've she never, didn't speak to the tabloids. You've never heard her say a word. A She's word. remained in silent dignity for four years watching me go through this. And Samantha Markle, your half-sister on your father's side, mm -hmm. has written a, a supposedly tell-all book mm -hmm. about you. What is, what is your relationship with her? I think it'd be very hard to tell all when you don't know me. Um, and I, <laughs> I mean, it's, this is a very different situation than my dad, right? When you talk about betrayal, betrayal comes from someone that you have a relationship with, right? I, I don't feel comfortable talking about people that I really don't know. But um, I grew up as an only child, which everyone who grew up around me knows. And I wished I had siblings. I would have loved to have had siblings. That's why I'm so excited to be pregnant, so that Archie has someone. It was really interesting to, I mean, the last time I saw her must have been at least 18, 19 years ago. And before that, 10 years before that. Um, so you all weren't close, you didn't grow up together. No. She doesn't no. really know you. No, she changed her last name back to Markle in, I think she was in her early 50s at that time, only when I started dating Harry. Hmm. So I think that says enough.